I am in the Vera bus. Uh, what year is this bus? Uh, 2009. 2009. And it is absolutely has a touch of green throughout the bus and it's gorgeous. And I'm going to show you the door outside. And this is Vanessa. Can I turn on you? All right. <laughs> She looks very young, very young. And I was surprised when she told me, you don't have to tell me on camera, but you have a very young, pleasant face. And this is your daughter? Son. So, son, he's a very handsome. Clyde. He's here. His name is Clyde? Yeah. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Clyde. <laughs> she has a touch of orange in her pillows. I mean, everything, there's just a touch of class. She's young. I mean, she told me her age, and I kind of don't believe it because she looks she looks ten years younger, which that's a good thing. Could I see in this room or? Yeah. Okay. Well, can I ask you who made these like curtain things right here? Oh, these are just from Amazon. Are they? Yes. Who? <laughs> hey, did you just put the um, vines. vines on them? Okay, you did a wonderful job. So, uh, I seated out the bathroom. Okay, so here's her bathroom. I love the wood paneling. Um, sink everything. Do you have water, running water? Yep. Okay. The she has a kitty cat. Yeah, the catty stuff. It smells really good in here, like, I don't know, refreshing or mini or something. So, she has a map. I have that map. Have you started to map off the places that you've been? Uh, not yet, because I need a permit marker. This is a Murphy bed. It folds down. Oh, this is a bed. Yeah. Is it easy to fold down or you don't want You don't have to if it's not easy to do um, it. It just folds out. Okay. And then... I just, I just have a latch right here. Okay, so, so it's easy to do. Okay, yeah. and then you have clothing there. Yep. What about with shower? Is it over there? It's right here. This part's just not hooked up. Oh, okay, so you it's just... It's going to go right here. Oh, easy does it. And yeah. you can even pull that outside, open the door to yep. put a canopy. A and is that a max fan or just an air no, fan? No, this is just a hatch for the steam when I'm, like, taking a shower. Okay. And then that over there is a, is a, a max fan. Oh, that's a max fan. Yeah, and and it, if you look at the touch to these beautiful wood floors, they're unique. Where'd you get this rug from? Amazon. Amazon, everybody, look at her view. A bus with a view. I am hope I'm capturing how beautiful it is. What is your favorite color, Vanessa? Because I see it's like accented with green throughout. Green. <laughs> green, I like green too. Green and orange are my two favorite colors. What about the sink? Do you cook over here at the sink? Um, yeah. So, how, what do you have? A stove? Uh, yeah, propane. Um, okay. 12 volt. Uh, little Is that the Dometic? Yeah, well, off brand. Okay, Dometics. off brand. Okay, but it works just, it works, I would assume yeah. it works just as good. Yeah. And then you got the little stove and kettle. Yep. So, so, are you full time in the bus? Yep. Yeah, we've only been in it for a month. And then we have a little pantry. Okay, here's a little pantry. Yeah. Vera is the name of her, her bus, named after her grandmother. And share the story with us, Vanessa. Um, I just did it because she is practically dying. And wow. Her and, um, didn't travel enough. Okay. So I didn't want to be like that. And she told you she would travel. She could do it all over again. Yeah, more. Yeah. There's always, I, I would encourage people, you have a young, you said son, how old is, how he's old is, three, he's three years old, and so do you feel afraid being a young woman on the road with a young baby? No, I've, you definitely take certain precautions. Okay, I do, definitely. Um, even, like, you just scope it more out when you choose parking areas. Okay. Uh, trust your gut, always. Thank you, Never yes. Never really say you're alone. Yeah, I heard that, um, too. Just, just follow your gut. gut. Now, do you park at like BLM land, campgrounds? Like now we're at like a, we pay for these camp yeah. spots. So what do you usually do? BLM definitely you would go. You would do BLM land first. Do you yeah. go deep in the land? I'm, a, I'm always afraid if I'm not with a group to do BLM um, land. Not crazy in there because I have solar. So you don't, you don't need to be covered okay. uh, with like trees. Okay. But Again, trust your gut. Do you prefer other people obviously around you then? Um, or not with you necessarily, but like, kind of how like here? I don't mind it. Yeah, okay, but but if you didn't, would you feel comfortable if it wasn't other people nearby? Uh, no. You would, okay, okay. I, I don't I know. I would be uncomfortable. Okay, and so obviously as a woman, especially with a small child, well, you are brave and courageous. Oh, what do you say to you. people who just won't? 
for whatever reason, they've got a million excuses. And I know I have them and had them, so I understand it. What would you say to someone, maybe they have small children or a small child and they want to get on the road? Um, it might take, if you want to do it, right? like start now, because it does take time okay. to get where you want to be. It took us, took me a year, but it took, it technically took me two years of wanting it. Okay. And I finally got up and did it. And it's not cheap, I would assume, because no. starting out with a bus, um, you don't have to give me the exact. Do you mind sharing a price range of a bus? I see a lot of schoolies oh, on this I, property. I bought this bus on auction from a school. Okay. Because schools have to maintain it. That's okay. why I liked it. Okay. For three grand. That's not bad. So if you just, and then once that, you just a little at a time. You do it. Because I pay, I got the van that I live in, I pay the, I pay cash for it. So it's just like. Three grand, wow, that's a good deal. But I can imagine all this beautiful woodwork and touches and sink. That was thousands and thousands of dollars, would you say? Uh, yeah. Okay, so Definitely. it was a lot of... But over time, okay. instead of spending your $20 on coffee in the morning, yes. you buy, you know, $20 worth of wood. It's okay. Just, over time, you can do it. It's definitely. What about driving in and the gas? Do you have like family members that you can park on a lot or something? I mean, I have my parents. Okay. They have, um, when we go to visit, they have land. Uh oh, yeah. there's a cat. That's okay. He's okay. Hi, cat. He ain't gonna get you. Okay. He might just rub on you, but. Hi, cat. Wait a second. <laughs> oh. No, no, don't jump. Don't jump. I'm scared of you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm scared of the cat. She said the cat is usually. What's the cat's name? Toby. Hi, Toby. <laughs> I got the jinx. So you saying a little bit of that, but it's good to have like a family member or parents or aunts and uncles that you can park yeah. your bus because I would assume, how much is a fill up on a schoolie? Uh, well, now it's probably, mine's 115-ish. How many miles to the gallon do you get? I could probably go, well, I can go about 430 miles. So you get pretty good gas miles, would yeah, you say? maybe 12. Okay. 15, which isn't horrible. Okay. This is a nice ideal. I think if you do have parents or an uncle or somebody, and you want to park every now and then, even friends, if you want to park. And then BOM Land, you can find it for free. I'm a little leery of BOM Land by myself, but not with, you know, a couple of other people. There's more... The more west you go, okay, definitely. Yeah, Arizona. Uh, east is like horrible. I'm east, find. so I know it's hard to find yeah. it. But well, I'm, oh. once you go west, even you'll find, uh, you know, it's more deserty. Yeah, so you can find There's yeah miles, but you're by yourself. But yeah, maybe a mile down, you see a camper. Okay, well then, see that will work for me. I just want to be, you know, not be out there by myself, and also, um, my, I'm not self-sufficient. You know, not self-contained completely. Oh, okay. I mean, I have water. I have a toilet in case of an emergency. I usually go to a bathroom, but I like to try it. So, how long? What's your What's the end point? If it is, you don't know, or um, I'm a big winger, so I'm winging it okay. really. Okay. But if I could, if we could get away with like a year or two, you would like to do that. Um, yeah, but if we end up loving it and we keep going forever, it is what it is. How about um, last question? How about how do you earn money on the road? If you care to say, you don't have to, but are you pretty good, or? <laughs> um, I own my own business. Okay. Business. Okay. Well, you want to say what um, it is? You, yeah, you, sure. Okay. It's moonmamaandson.com. So moon m o o n mama m a m a son and son. Oh, and a n d or the symbol and a n d a n d son moon. Moon Mama and Son. Yes. Very cute name. So you okay. sell t-shirts. Yeah, they're more girly. They're like um, naturey, crystally. Okay. You should have brought some out to sell if I you know. you didn't think about <laughs> it. Yeah, but well, we didn't decide to do this. Until I didn't have enough time. So. Okay, it was just too. Yeah. Right. Um, do you have a um, Facebook? Not Facebook, but anything you want anybody to follow you on? I kind of suck at them. Okay. So, okay. Well, if you do, I'll put a link. When I put up this video, okay. I'll give a link if you want to give anybody your, you know, just say if they want to yeah. get in contact. 
Thank you so much. My philosophy on my channel is to take the joy route. The joy route isn't necessarily a physical route. It's like just your mental space. It could be a physical route. And just go at your own pace. And don't do anything possible that doesn't make you happy. And that's just what take the joy route means to me. So may I say to you, take the joy route. Aww, thank thank you. you. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and write a comment. Thank you so much. Take the joy route. So meeting Vanessa was one of the highlights of me going to Schooling UP in Upper Peninsula. Vanessa was a total sweetheart. Um, that night we had a campfire and um, Schooling P in Upper Peninsula, it gets cold at night. The weather is beautiful in the daytime. And I was telling people at the campfire, like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be cold. I didn't bring enough blankets. And she just volunteered. She said, hey, I got an extra blanket. You're going to be cold. I got a blanket. And I was like, thank you. I'm okay. And so um, the next day, I noticed she was parked like right next to us, sort of. So I just went up to her and told her her bus was beautiful because I really like the green color. It's one of my favorite colors in addition to orange. And uh, we started talking. And I started her son. We were playing. I was playing with her son. And everything like that so i asked if i could first see inside the bus and then i said if i could do a tour and y'all know i'm just like i do unofficial tours <laughs> i just do like these unofficial tours um i should have a list of questions written down but again I, i'm not going to do too many tours on this channel but anyway so vanessa's company let me just see if i can skip along here okay yeah so vanessa's um company right here is moon mama and son.com um i've been on the site in fact i'm gonna pull it up here next and it's very very nice some very interesting choices so if y'all are in the if you can go by and support her channel maybe if you can order something one of the things that i noticed when you go to these events like schoolie up or whatever if you sell t-shirts or jewelry or if you do massages there was a guy there and there were several people there giving massages, charging like 70 or $80. So people are there with their crafts, their t-shirts. I bought stuff. Andrea bought stuff. So if you're looking for ways, additional ways to make money on the road, if you have stuff to sell, people buy it. We, 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 Andrea bought earrings and we bought cocoa, not cocoa butter, but shea butter. I bought a couple of t-shirts. I got a um, tarot card reading. So if you're at these events, that may be one way where you can at least make gas money for your travels is by selling your goods. Here's Vanessa's website. And if you all do stop by, tell her Frankie from Schoolie UP, the lady who did a tour on her school bus, sent y'all over here. She was such a sweetheart. Let's see what her shirt. The stuff is really cute. Hmm, very cute. Not pricey at all. It's definitely com comparable to other places. So congratulations to you, Vanessa, for one, um, being an entrepreneur, you know, being a single mom, being an entrepreneur, and also following your dreams of getting a school bus and just going for it. Um, so that's really, really cool. Finally, I appreciate everyone taking the time to watch my videos. Um, thank you. If you feel like giving a like or leave a comment, I answer every single comment. So I really appreciate, appreciate you all. And take the joy route. It's just basically making lemonade out of lemons. That's one way to say it. Just making the best of any situation. Thank you. Y'all know what route to take.